Hello everyone, Ecamm Live 4.1 just dropped and in this series of short videos we're going to be going over the major overlay features. Yes, and we have a massive, massive new shape overlay update, not text overlay, but shape overlays. That's right. Let's get started with the first one. The first one is at shape overlays with support for linear gradient blur and effects. You heard that right. You what does that mean? That right. <laughs> Let's head on over to the workshop and show you exactly what we mean here. All right, so we're here. This is not a text box. No, it isn't. It's not a text background. No, it isn't. We didn't have to manipulate any text. We didn't have to write background. Right, right. So if we look down here, you have this new shape overlay option. And what you're seeing here when you click that is an actual rectangle shape. Come on. You gotta click right? that again. because And it's <laughs> not just, go. it's not just any rectangle, right? Check out what you can do here. Look at your freedom. Yes. Freedom. Yes, awesome. And you can do this with all overlays, but let's not get ourselves ahead. Let's go over with the overlays that we have included, the shapes overlays. Yes. This is a rectangle. Mm -hmm. This is a square. And what else do we have here? We have the circle. A true circle. A true circle. And you have a true squircle. A very true squircle. That is a squircle right there. That is awesome. So these are the shapes that we have now included in the latest release, which is 4.1. Yes. It includes shapes. So now let's and, continue. And if we go back here, right, with support for linear gradient, blur, and effects. Let's go. This is fun. This is fun. So let's check this out. All right, so let's select a rectangle again. Let's go back to rectangle. And we can shape our rectangle however we want. And lower the corners. And you can do the same thing, right? Right, as with our text box, right? Mm -hmm. You can remove the corner radius and all that good stuff. So if you check out fill, check out all these new features that we have here. And one of them, believe it or not, is gradient. You can choose very easily any color that you will like by clicking there, as you can see here. Okay, and then choose another color. And then you can um, angle your gradient, how you wanna do it. I mean, this is incredible. This is incredible. This is beautiful. Some of you might have already know this because you were playing around with the Ecamm Beta, but for those of you who do not, right? How cool is this? It's a beautiful thing. Yes. It's a beautiful thing. And let's check this out, right? So not only do you have a static gradient, but you have, drum roll, motion gradients. What is a motion gradient? We're gonna show you right now. You're going to, right here, look at it, right? Yes. But if and you it's click so, so on, smooth. right? If you click on, let's say, let's get something black. Look at that, because you the, the darker the color, like the contrast that you can have, the more you will see the motion. The more motion in the ocean yeah. you'll get. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's continue, please. Let's check out what else we the have blur. here. The blur. So uh, let's come back here and select new shape overlay. And this is the rectangle that we have, but what do we have here under fill? We checked out gradient, we have motion gradient. Check out blur. Blur, I mean, like we have blur inside of Ecamm. Mm -hmm. Blur inside of Ecamm, that's just, that's just it. There's okay. so many ways you can use this effect effectively. <laughs> 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 Next up, we have zoom. Mm -hmm. So zoom creates a zoom blur effect, mm -hmm. right? Motion, creates like a motion blur. Mm -hmm. What else do we have here? Pixelate. If uh, you want to do some witness protection videos, you can do that now without bringing in any external resources. Right. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Pixelate. What else do we have here? Hex, which is another type of pixeling, but it's in a hex 
shape. And we have comic. This is Fulgen's favorite. <laughs> one, of, one, of, one of his. One of the favorites. Mm -hmm. is, comic is really, really cool. And what else do we have here? And your favorites, right? You mm -hmm. have some twirl effect going on yeah. here. So let's do this. And we also have pinch. <laughs> right? It's like a filter. Oh my gosh. I'm pinch. Gonna... <laughs> and we have one more in the mix. We have bump, which is kind of like the opposite. <laughs> the opposite of, 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 of pinch. <laughs> I look like a new man. You do look like a new man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's let's continue hello, hello because we, we need we need to we need to okay, let's continue. So that is Bump. These are the effects. This is yeah. awesome. This is awesome. And you can use all of these effects with anything that you bring in. Any overlays, anything that you bring in. It could even be a movie and you can put the filter over it and it will enhance or do whatever it is that the filter does, it will do it over whatever you put yeah. in. So yeah, so have is... fun. Yes. Have fun at that. Let's check out what else we have here. Oh my gosh. Adds free rotation of, oh, this is like the dream, uh, the dream list right here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Free rotation of overlays, including rotation gesture support. What does that mean? Let's check it out. Let's check this out. Let's go back to our workshop here. And this lovely gradient here, you have this rotate option in the new overlay panel. And let's try it out. Look at da -da -da -da. this. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Full rotation. Full rotation. And this applies to your text. This applies to your screen share. This applies to your camera. This applies to your web widgets. This applies to every overlay that you have in Ecamm Live. Yes. Okay. That I mean, yes. We we asked for this, and, and thank you, Ken and Glenn. Let's continue with overlay borders and rounded corners for all overlay types. All of them, including movies, including GIFs, including WebMs, including everything, everything. that you everything. bring in. Everything. It has it. Yes, yes. And we also have linear gradient option for overlay borders as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, the gradients are what's up in Ecamm Live. So if we come back here to the workshop, check this out. Let's make this a standard color. But now if you go to border, you have some options for gradient. Uh, we need some colors here for this gradient border. Check that out. Mm -hmm. You have gradient borders now in Ecamm. And not only that, you have the motion gradient. That is it, that is it. And it is so cool. Let me see if with the green screen we can do this. But the cool thing about this also is that you can apply it to your camera as Fulgen said. So say we bring, um, if we bring this, we're gonna come up with a green screen. You may or may not. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's check this out. Um, if we do. 4, 4K number two. We do this one, mm -hmm. okay. Let's say we put it over just so that you can see the cool things that you can do. And for us, we have we have the the green screen, but for your regular background, you can just have your camera and you can have the motion border over it. If you wanna just have, for example, me, because Fulgence went somewhere else, and uh, Fulgence is coming, right? So this is it. So you can have your tutorials, you can have your whatever it is that you're doing, and you can have a nice little motion border next to you, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this is just awesome. It absolutely. makes it so dynamic, okay? And this is for all overlay types, all overlay types. Yes. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh. Your Adds camera. overlay drop shadows. This has to be one of my top favorite features in Ecamm 4.1. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. So if we come back to our 
workshop, we can actually demo this quite well. Oh. You can delete that. Uh, yeah. Say bye to Anna for a second up here. Second Anna. Mm -hmm. And let's add another shape over. So let's say essentially we had the shape here. So if you click on the pencil, come down here to shadow. Let's click on that. How Ooh, beautiful. Drop, drop. And you can do this to everything. This? You can do this to an overlay that you bring in. You can do this to movies. You can do this to anything because every, all of this effect, as Fulgins mentioned earlier, um, can be applied to yeah. all of the overlays. And if you have uh, transparent PNG images, like a cutout of a photo, let's say we were a photo or something like that, the drop shadow actually wraps around the image. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a transparent moving GIF, the drop shadow wraps around the moving mm -hmm. GIF and it moves along with the GIF. It is a beautiful feature. Yeah, beautiful we can feature. we can demonstrate by bringing Ken and Glenn's um, picture. Yes, we can so that you can see how cool this is and the things that you can do. So let's get it real quick because they are amazing. They did this incredible update that we are just going to be, I mean, you are going to be captivated so much, you're gonna lose sleep just playing around with Ecom. All right, so we have Ken and Glenn in here and let's take a look. This is actually a great background to try it out on. <laughs> And to click on the pencil or double click and select shadow. Yeah. Look is that, that awesome that's, that's, or is that awesome? That is just great. And even the coolest thing about it is that you can change the um you can change the shadow uh color of the shadow. So you can go right. Uh what would be good for this? What would be good for this? Blue? Um white maybe okay we're gonna do white and you can then change the distance between it all right let me let's get rid of this right see so you can make it more bigger or smaller the blur you can reduce the blur or get it so it's like a glow a nice little glow right okay absolutely absolutely yes. there's so much you can do here as you can see now this is actually a glow over a shadow. And if you lower the opacity, you can get more of a shadowy effect. There are so many different combinations you can do with the drop shadow feature. All right, and last but not least. Fun. We let's have, make them spin. <laughs> yeah, let's make everything spin. We have new spin transitions. We had fly-ins, but now we have some spin transitions here as well. So if we head on back to the workshop and let's, Let's, <laughs> let's Glenn use Glenn likes the spin and the rotation. So we can rotate him. We can use a ro rotate them and spin them. <laughs> yeah. So since Glenn likes to spin, how about this, right? We can just do an option drag. <laughs> and just try this. Let's trim Glenn, isolate Glenn, isolate Ken. So we have two separate entities here. <laughs> <laughs> Glowing entities. Glowing entities. And uh, Glenn is going to spin in from which direction? All right, so these are the new the new transitions that were added in 4.1. So we're gonna go over spin in from, he's he's on the right, spin in from the, from the bottom. Let's try it from the bottom. Let's try spin in from the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, and Ken is like, no, I don't wanna spin, I just wanna, Lean. Slide in. I just want to slide in. Yeah. So we'll just do an OG uh, flying from the flying from the left. Yes. Yeah. So Ken is just gonna slide in. All right. So let's let's uh, let's check this out. <laughs> let's check this out. Let's come back here. And. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> one, hey. <laughs> one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> and that is just that is just uh, on 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 all overlays you can apply it. So you can apply it on text, you can apply it on movies, you can apply it on everything right. again. All right, so those are the main updates on shape overlays on Ecom Life 4.1. Have fun, 
test it out and check out the rest of the feature updates, short videos that we have put together for you to go and have fun. Yes, we're looking forward to see what you create. And if you find any of these new features in Ecamm Live 4.1 helpful to you and your content creation journey, let us know in the comments. We appreciate your feedback. My name is Anahi. And I'm Fulgen Henry. And you're watching Building Blocks. Peace. Bye.